The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. On the line right now, we've got Bradley out of Kansas. Uh, Bradley, thank you for listening to us today. Thanks for calling in from Kansas. And you want to talk about Obama. Shoot. Yeah, okay. How are you all today? Doing well. Uh, I had the question. Uh, when uh, Sheriff Arpaio and uh, Lieutenant Zulo uh, come out with their specific reports, uh, on, the, on the various on the days that they come out, would you be doing a special uh, Freedom Friday on the, the day that it comes out? Yeah, well, Bradley, I don't know if it's going to come out on a Friday, but yes, between P.P. Simmons News and Ministry and Freedom Friday, we will be breaking all sorts of information. It's my understanding from Mike Zulo that P.P. Simmons News and Ministry Network will be the one that gets it first as to the exact timing of the conferences, and then, of course, I'll probably jump on the radio, whether it's Freedom Friday or just having access to this radio station. Uh, so, so, so your answer is kind of yes, and it depends on what exactly exact what day it is, but we will be dealing with a lot of that upfront information right here. Yes. That's all I need to know. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, Thank good you. deal, Bradley, and thanks for listening. God bless you, man. You but let's go back to the phone lines right now because Peter is listening to us. Peter, you're from along the Gulf Coast. We appreciate that. You want to talk about the gun rights issue. Go ahead. Well, uh, sort, sort of gun rights, but uh, I, I wanted to say, uh, Mr. Brandon, it's an honor to speak to you. Pastor, it's an honor. Uh, getting back to the... Uh, the Bureau of Land Management, BLM. I yeah. thought that stood for Bolshevik Land Manipulators. <laughs> well, know? in this case, it kind of did. You uh, know, yeah. and, and we were wondering, were those hired hands, uh, you know, with the, the flock jackets, flag jackets and stuff? Well, I tell you, those cowboys that they hired to, to rope and get the calves in and the cows in were definitely hired hands. So I bet you when the government wants to do something crooked, they'll do what they can. Yeah, Pete, did you see the video of, of the actual of the cowboys, you know, forcing the agents back and then the, the cows getting uh, taken back? I was, it's in tears both ways, you Brother, know, to, I, to and fro. It's just uh, unbelievable, you know, but we're patiently waiting what the... Uh, about the, the the other previous caller said we're waiting to see what the outcome is. Yeah. We're looking at the tower, seeing if it's one light or two light. You know, you know just what? like the Patriots did back then. Pete, you just made an excellent point, and, and I, I need to address this because I, we need to be very careful because there are a lot of folks in the media who claim to be conservative, who claim to be libertarian, that are right now out there championing the fact that that this is not over that this was just a setup to see who would show up so they could get people's information, they could get facial facial recognition, they could tap into people's cell phones. They've already got all that. Yeah, they've already got that. Yeah. All right? Yeah. So if you're exactly. out there championing that cause, yeah. I'm very wary of you right now right. because what you're really saying what is, it sounds like. what you're really saying is, don't take a stand. Right. Be scared right. of right. the federal government. That's right. Be scared because yeah. they've got all the power. Yeah. So Glenn Beck and people like you that are out there championing that cause right now, yeah, that's scary. you be scared that's because right. I'm not. That's right. We're not scared. And and that's very, very scary to hear these kinds of people say, now listen, don't go out there because that's what they're doing. They're just profiling. Well, I don't care. Let them profile. Am I ashamed to be a constitution-loving American? No. Am I ashamed to ask Mr. President, show us your identifying documents. We want to know if you are an intruder, an infiltrator or not. Am I ashamed of that? No. Why? Because the Constitution says I'm supposed to ask that and that Congress is supposed to ask that. Am I ashamed to say I support the Second Amendment? No. I'm an American. Were, I don't care if they profile me or not. There were thousands and thousands of men who fought and died for our right to sit here and have this conversation today. You and I have relatives that fought and died right. for the rights that we're sitting here and having this conversation yes. today and to be able to have a gun on my side if That's I right. want to or That's have right. them in my home right. to protect myself from anyone or anything That's right. that may try to come against me and my family. Absolutely. Let's go to New York because we've got a caller on the line, Rick from New York. York. Thank you so much for listening today to Freedom Friday. You want to ask about uh, Zulo and Obama and all that? Go ahead, Rick. Yeah, how you doing today, gentlemen? Doing well. Great. I'm great. I'm glad to hear it. Um, Carl, the reason why I called is I know you have a lot of a uh, lot of information. You know, you know quite about the bit about the investigation. Basically, I know you can't say anything specifically, but. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out the right way to ask the question. Well, you're going to have to hurry up and get to your point, Rick. Yeah, yeah. We're running out of time. Yeah, I'm just wondering, what what is the uh, the, the, the 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 desired end result? Uh, I guess um, uh, of releasing the information, and I guess uh, who, who, 
who will it have the biggest impact on negatively? Yeah. Uh, well, I appreciate you asking the question. You know, the desired result that Arpaio and Zulo has, the desired result I have, is to restore our constitutional republic yeah. and to restore the rule of law. Yeah. Now, what happens in the playing out of that? You know, if courts get involved, if Congress gets involved, if people are, are, are impeached or if people are removed from office or if people go to jail, and I'm not talking about just Obama. I'm, talk, I'm talking about Holder and, the, you know, and the Congress people and whoever else is involved in all this mess. If, if that happens, that happens through the legal legal, lawful, peaceful, constitutional process. So the end result, uh, who knows what the end result's going to be, but my end game is I want the Constitutional Republic back. Whatever it takes in a legal, lawful, peaceful manner, if we can do it that way. I mean, our founding fathers eventually had to resort to, to arms to arms. The red coats you know, are coming. The red coats are coming. Uh, but, and I pray to God that we do not have to do that. Notice I said the word have to do that because yeah. there are many millions who are willing to do it. As we just saw, hundreds of thousands of them in Connecticut and New York alone. Not yeah. counting the southeast. My gosh, below the Mason-Dixon line? Yeah. We're talking millions. <laughs> so, so I, you know, I, but. But that, that's that's the answer to your question, Rick. That's my desire. I think that's our Pio and Zulo. I know it's our Pio and Zulo's desire. I'm not trying to be their spokesperson, but I've talked talked to them enough to know that their end result is they want the constitutional republic back. They want the rule of law back. As long as our government has forgotten that they are there to serve us, right, and not that we are here to serve them, right. then our Constitution is garbage. That's right. And until we restore that respect, That's right. and until these politicians are held accountable for their actions, right. and until they understand that they are sent there to serve us for just That's a right. few years, and, and then they should go back home and work and, for a living. And we're not afraid of them. We want them to be afraid of like us. Like the people who Mr. founded Wilbur. this country Thank did. you. Go home and work for a living. Don't sit up there and suck blood out of us who are out here earning a living. Right. You are there to serve us. We are not your slaves. Right. You are not our masters in the elite. Right. Thank you. Thank it's you. not how this country it, it, works. And I know some people you know, have, have accused me and, and Zulu and Arpaio and, and me being on talk radio saying, well, you're just you're trying to disp- depose a, a U.S. Um, American president, a duly elected. Listen, I'm not trying to depose pose anyone have i ever said that you know would i like to see obama out of office uh, in a, in a legal peaceful manner yes why he's destroying this nation yeah so i'm going to be honest with you but in this investigation listen that's not my end game. My end game is I, I don't care how it happens as long as it's legal and peaceful etc but i want this constitutional republic back I want a place where I can continue to preach the gospel and where our children and grandchildren can grow up with the freedoms that we have enjoyed yeah. and, and, and not have drones in the skies and everybody spying on each other and everybody afraid to speak truth and to speak up, afraid to think something because the thought police are going to put you in jail because of the way you thought. Yeah. Uh, and, and all of that's here, and, and I want it gone, and I want our constitutional republic back. That's my end game. That was a great that's question. Right. All right, welcome back, America. We're going to go straight back to the phone line. Steve, thank you so much for listening this afternoon. You have a question for us. I just want to make a, make a statement. I just want you to know that I'm continuing to pray for both you and Brandon, as I have prayed for uh, InfoWars staff for many years. My hope is that there will be no false flag event subsequent to the uh, sheriff and the lieutenant releasing this bombshell information, because as you know, false flag events have a way of taking the public's attention away and making much damage. Yeah, yeah. No, no, Steve, you're absolutely right, and that's why Zulo and Arpaio are not giving away uh, the date upon which they're going to do this. They had been shooting for a late March release date, and uh, we were holding our breath then about a possible false flag event, but now that's had to be delayed because more information has, has come in that's amazing, and, and they're putting all this together. It's going to be good. It's going to be right, and you're right, Steve. That's exactly right. So in the meantime, it will happen. I mean, I talked to Zulo yesterday. It will happen, and this investigation and all the new information is going swimmingly, according to Zulo. He says it's amazing the stuff they're uncovering and the information they're getting, so it will happen, but they're not going to release the, the day until it's ready, ready to roll. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.